There we go. Uh, so he's got his knife, he's got his Uzi, he's got his uh, ta tactical camo paint, <laughs> and his classic vest with uh, his grenades and stuff. Dan Larson here at the photo booth, taking a look at some figures from Matthew LeCroy. He is LeCroy's Toys on Instagram and Scorched Earth Videos on YouTube. Check him out, give him a follow. He does a lot of custom work, uh, some really incredible stuff when it comes to working in the three and three quarter inch G.I. Joe style. Uh, you may have seen this six inch G.I. Joe classified figure, custom classified figure he sent me back in August. He named it The Collector. It is The handsomest classified figure in existence. Uh, he also sent in a couple of his custom vintage style Joe figures, including this amazing, I'm gonna put the focus on it, this amazing custom vintage style John Matrix from the 1985 movie Commando, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, there were a few Commando figures back in the day, which is crazy considering that it is definitely an R-rated movie. He literally throws a pipe through a guy's chest at the end. Uh, but they, there was a 16-inch uh, giant figure that had, like, cloth goods pants, a He-Man-style figure with uh, cloth goods pants, and then a smaller, kind of like a Star Wars figure. Uh, there was a whole line of them, John Matrix and then some bad guys. It was from a company called Diamond Toy Makers, not to be confused with Diamond Collectibles. They are two totally different companies. So this figure, he's got a custom card back and everything. Uh, it's got that, you know, classic Joe explosion. Uh, but the really great thing about this is that it is, there's nothing on the back, uh, it is the type of card back that is a clamshell, so that you can open it, uh, take the figure right out. Let me get it posed up here for you real nice. He's got his knife. He's got his Uzi. No pipe. Get out of here. Bring the camera down a little bit for you there. There we go. Oh, that looks good. There we go. Uh, so he's got his knife, he's got his Uzi, he's got his uh, ta tactical camo paint, <laughs> and his classic vest with uh, his grenades and stuff. Um, I don't know specifically to the degree uh, how many of these parts are custom sculpted by Matthew. Uh, to my knowledge, a lot of them are. And then they're custom cast, custom painted, all that stuff. Uh, and he does limited runs of these figures. Um, so th uh, this particular figure, it's... You know, it's built just like a, a an original Joe, and I just, you know, I grabbed a couple of figures here at random just to give you a sense of how he would fit in with that line. Uh, fits right in with that collection. You know, the Joes, if they got a special mission going, they need to, maybe they need to throw a pipe through Major Blood or something. You know, he's the guy to call. Uh, and Matt, you got to check it out. Matt has some other great three and three quarter inch Joe style customs on his Instagram. Judge Dredd, the Mandalorian, Pythona, and then of course several of his own creations. The other figure that he sent in here is the uh, is the I was once a man Cobra Commander again we got the Joe style burst back there uh, he signed this one on the back uh, if you've seen the this so this is the half transformed Cobra Commander if you've seen the 1987 GI Joe animated movie uh, you know that Cobra Commander is put on trial by Golobulus and the upper management of Cobra Law this guy right here I didn't get stands out because I was pretty sure they were going to be able to stand. You know what? Let's alternate here. Let's hold up presentation. There we go. There we go. There we go. So anyway, he gets put on trial and uh, they, uh, they find him guilty of being terrible. Uh, not taking over the world in the allotted amount of time, the generations that he had. Uh, they expose him to the spores over time. They devolve him into a snake, which, you know, and it, it would have been cool if back in the day they could have made uh, a figure like this, you know, unmasked, also slightly mutated. Uh, but they didn't, and that's why customizers like Matt exist to fill in the blanks. Of course, stuff like this is limited run. Uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any more of the Cobra Commander figures, but they do pop up from time to time on eBay. Pretty sure the original run was like 50 pieces, so good luck with that. Follow his Instagram at Lecroy's Toys to stay tuned on what he's got coming up in the future. Um, you know, there everything's there. Uh, I don't know. You'd have to reach out to him to find out exactly what the materials are that are at use here, uh, but it is built just like a regular G.I. Joe figure. Uh, in fact, this might actually be an original Cobra Commander leg. I'm not totally positive, but the rest of it is cast and pinned uh, and painted individually. The detail work on this thing is incredible. And 
it fits right in. <laughs> and it's just a, you know, it's just a lot of fun to imagine the other characters crossing over. You know, uh, Super 7 has done a lot with their reaction line and the five POA figures, the Star Wars style, to sort of have those crossover. Brands that never appeared in those, in that style back in the day, you know, can now be displayed with your vintage Star Wars figures to sort of fulfill some of those, you know, weird what if dreams of, uh, that you had as a kid back in the day. Uh, what if Back to the Future? What if that? So, you know, what if uh, John Matrix uh, was a G.I. Joe guy? And there you go. Thanks to Matt for uh, answering those questions and giving us a sense of what he would look like. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit like, hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Make sure you head over to our main channel, Toy Galaxy, and subscribe there as well. Lots more videos over there. If you're in the position to help the channel grow, please visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash toygalaxy or become a YouTube channel member. Please share this video and let us know if there's, uh, you know, any other characters you might want to see Matthew take a whack at what uh, what he might be able to roll out into the G.I. Joe line. Guys that would fit in just like that. Anyway, <laughs> check it out. Thanks for watching. Later.